news is, is our air quality is a little bit better. And I guess good news too, we could work a little bit harder today than we have the last few days. So feel free to scale up or down in the difficulty as we get through everything. So we're going to curl and roll back. Finding that neutral spine, that little gap at the low back. We'll bend our knees, walk our heels back towards our hips. And we're going to interlace our fingers, place our hands behind our head. We are going to work into a chest lift. And if you'd like to avoid the chest lift, arms should stay down at your side. We're going to exhale to fold along the midribs to lift the chest and then connect those shoulder blades, feel that tension, draw them down the ribs and seat them into those back pockets. We're going to float the right foot up off of the mat, drawing the abdominals in deeper and then inhale to lengthen and extend that right leg nice and long and exhale to draw it back. Inhale to reach, finding that length, that extension and exhale, pulling back. Checking that alignment, letting your head rest back into your hands, lengthening the neck as the shoulders glide down, folding a little deeper across the rib cage, just there at the base of the shoulder blades. That's where you should feel contact, is just the tip of the shoulder blade. Drawing that right foot back, we'll place the foot down, and we'll reset the upper body. On our next exhale, we'll fold and lift, hugging those shoulders back and down. We're gonna float that left foot and inhale to reach. And exhale, glide it back. Extending and lengthening that left leg nice and long and we're just parallel, just above the mat. So we're fairly close to the floor. And one more for this left side. Foot comes back down in line with the sit bones. Check your alignment and then slow to reset the upper body. Arms are gonna come down by your side. We're gonna work our pelvic tilt. On our exhale, we'll tilt the hips back, imprint the low back, lifting the tailbone just a little up off of the mat so we feel that connection at the base of the glutes up the back of the thighs, and then rolling along the lumbar spine across the sacrum, towards the tailbone. You can go heavy onto the tailbone to arch the back, flare the ribs as long as it doesn't cause any discomfort. And articulating back through, tilting the hips, activating those glutes as you draw the hamstrings to the hips and hips to back of knees and rolling along the spine. We'll bring our knees to tabletop after you finish that last pelvic tilt. Drawing through the inner thighs, we connect the abdominals down and in, and we're gonna work our pelvic tilt with legs in tabletop. Exhale to tilt back, drawing the abdominals up towards the sternum, towards the rib cage and then heavy through the tailbone, arching the back if you want to go through the full range of motion. Full flexion as we tilt, and extension as we arch. Last one.
and we'll place the feet back down to the mat. Working into our shoulder bridge, you can keep the spine in neutral, just lifting the hips up or work in the articulation by tilting the hips back, drawing the glutes to the back of the knees as you peel and lift up. Anchoring the bottom half of the shoulder blades against the mat. Hold for a breath at the top. And then start to curl back down. Rolling along the spine, segment by segment, all the way through. Keep reaching the arms nice and long. Keeping the very top of the shoulder off of the mat so you can anchor better along the bottom half of the shoulder blades along the mid ribs to draw the rib cage in and navel to spine. Two more. Fingers are going to interlace once again. Bring our hands back behind the head. Slide those shoulders down, resting the head in your hands. And we'll bring our knees to tabletop position. On the exhale, fold along the midribs to lift the chest. Holding here in tabletop. And we exhale to rotate to the right. And inhale back through the center. Exhale to rotate left, tipping onto the shoulder blade, keeping even weight across the hips. So start to feel which side, maybe it's harder to seat the hips evenly as you go one direction and start to find that connection in the hip that begins to lift as you try to twist farther. Last one to the left. And curl and roll back. Arms come long once again down by the side. And we're going to inhale to extend the right leg forward. And exhale to draw it back. Alternate to the left side. Drawing the ribs down, pulling navel to spine, tightening the abdominals the farther that leg travels away from the chest. Lengthening and straightening the leg, feeling that tension along the top of the leg, up the quad as you reach farther. One more each side. And resting the feet back to the mat. We'll draw the legs together, knees and inner thighs touch. Bring your arms out to a T position, palms up and we're gonna stretch. We're gonna take the legs and the hips and the low back to the right. Working that rotation along the mid ribs. Back to center. And over to the left. We'll 
We'll go for two more each side, really picking up the opposite hip, keeping the legs stacked. Anchoring the shoulder as much as you can against the mat and floor. And last one, tipping left. Arms come back down to the side. We'll separate the feet so they're about six bones distance apart. Heels are gonna walk towards the hips and we're gonna work our single leg bridge without the articulation. We're gonna bring our right leg up to tabletop. Anchor into that left foot, left leg, Activate glute and abdominals and exhale to lift the hips up and slow on the inhale to reset. Hips tap the mat and we exhale to lift again. One more. And we'll switch legs. Right foot comes down, left leg will come up to tabletop, reconnect and find your alignment. Exhale, hips lift, inhale to lower, light touch of the hips to the floor and right back up. One more. And legs to tabletop. Arms move away from the hips, either a little or out to that T position for our spine twist supine. So zipping up from pubic bone to sternum to tighten all segments of the abdominals, we're gonna rotate along the mid ribs. Inhale, we take the legs, the hips, the low back to the right, keeping the left shoulder connected, and exhale back. Inhale to twist to the left, right shoulder stays anchored, and exhale to center. Rolling from hip to hip, anchoring the chest, the upper back against the floor, against your mat. And remember about anchoring the bottom half of the shoulder blade, not the very top of the shoulder blade, the very bottom, right across, right along the bra line. So we keep those upper abdominals active, those lower ribs pulled together so we don't arch the back. One more right, last one left, and pause at center tabletop. Reconnect the abdominals in, find that neutral spine throughout the low back, and we inhale, double legs extend forward, and exhale to glide back. Last two. Draw the knees to the chest and stretch. Gliding the shoulders down away from the neck and the ears so you're long through the neck, 
stretching the tailbone down towards the floor as you draw the knees in. Reaching that left leg nice and long across the mat will draw the right leg cross body. Right arm reaches out, palm up to that T position. Look out over that right hand. And we'll switch sides. Left knee comes in, right leg glides out to that straight leg. Left arm comes out to our T. We pull that left leg cross body to the right. Look out over the left arm to twist and rotate. Try to keep the right leg, the knee pointing straight up towards the ceiling. It's going to want to externally rotate. Try to square the leg off. One more breath. And back to center. Arms are going to come straight up towards the ceiling, palms facing the knees. We'll bring our legs to tabletop position, moving into hundreds prep. On the exhale, arms glide down, fold the mid ribs to lift, head, neck, and chest and inhale to reset. This is a great spot to add light hand weights or kettlebells or any of your resistance bands. On our next one, we're going to stay up and lifted through the chest, staying up and lifted, arms come up by the ears, they circle out and around. We'll do a set of five. Last two. and reset the upper body. Arms are nice and long. We're going to extend the legs straight up towards the ceiling, externally rotate so heels are touching, legs are turned out, and we're going to inhale to open, point to toes, and exhale to close. One more. And back to tabletop. Arms reach straight up for the ceiling. We connect those shoulders down and back. And on our exhale with our chest lift, we add single leg extension. Lift the chest, lower the arms, reach that right leg long. And change to the left leg. Changing to that right leg. Trying to stay up and lifted as you can. You can always reset each rep or every few reps. One more each side. Knees to tabletop. Reset the upper body, arms are long down at your side. We're going to place our left foot flat on the mat, extend that right leg up nice and long towards the ceiling, and inhale to lower the leg straight, and exhale up. Slow to lower, and slow to lift. Feeling that stability in the low back. That mobility in the hip as the leg glides. One more. 
bending that right knee, placing the foot flat to the mat, just in line with the sit bone. Left leg to tabletop. Reset the shoulders down the back as you draw the abdominals in, and inhale, lowering that straight, long left leg, toes pointed, Last one. Bending the knee, placing the feet flat to the mat. We're gonna go soles of the feet together for butterfly stretch. Knees angle out. You can place your hands on the inside of the thighs to assist the stretch further. rock from hip to hip. Coming back to center, we'll bring our legs to tabletop, finding that neutral spine, that little gap in the low back, arms go straight up for the ceiling. On our exhale, arms lower, chest lifts, legs glide forward, legs open, close. And reset to tabletop, reset the other upper body. Keep the opening of the legs about mat width apart. And start to gauge that symmetry from right to left leg. So one leg is an opening farther than the other, which could then cause twisting in the back. And last two. and reset. Legs are going to go nice and long out on the mat. We're going to reach the arms straight up for the ceiling, palms turned in facing each other. Inhale to tuck chin to chest as the arms lower, lifting and folding at the mid ribs, and exhale to peel and curl up. In for that roll up, staying in that C curve reaching long through the arms as you glide the shoulders down the back, lengthening the neck, and then exhale to tilt. Start to articulate back segment by segment. Rolling along the spine piece by piece. That exhale rolls you back as you start to glide along the spine. Keeping the arms as parallel to the floor as you can as you seat the shoulders back and drawing the abdominals in. Last one, rolling back. and finishing our roll up. Chin to chest, arms lower as we lift the chest, and exhale to curl. Drawing the abs in, and reach now long over the legs, diving forward over the thighs, reaching towards the toes. Let's flex at the ankle, 
Draw the top of the foot back, reaching for the feet, and working that stretch at the back of the leg. And adding a little bit of movement to the ankle and the foot. So we're going to pull back on the left foot as the right foot presses forward and switch. So there's this light pedaling motion at the foot and at the ankle. So you can feel that deeper stretch left as we draw the foot back and then switch to that right side. Trying to reach through that heel as you stretch. If you find that one side is tighter than the other, work that tighter side more for a longer cycle on that side. And curl back up to that nice, tall, seated position. We're going to take our feet and our legs about mat width apart, sitting up nice and long up out of our sit bones. Arms are going to come out to our T position, and we're going to rotate through the mid ribs to the right. Come back to center, and we'll rotate left, keeping the arms drawn apart. Feeling the shoulder blades pulling back and down. And now we'll rotate to the right. Left arm will come across, reaching for the outside of the right foot. Reaching on that diagonal, anchor that left hip as best you can. Lifting up into that extension, sitting tall, unwinding, we rotate to the left. Left arm reaches back, right hand forward to the outside of that left foot, anchor the right hip, and lift and extend on that diagonal. Sitting up, unwinding and rotating, to the other side. The back arm is palm up, so we're internally rotating that arm in the shoulder and then flattening the back. In for that extension. And one more each side. Finding that extension before you sit tall, so you're flattening the back after you've rounded and stretched. Legs come together. We're going to bend our elbows, bring our arms up in more of a goalpost position. And we're going to rotate through the mid ribs and twist to the right for a double pulse. Twisting through to the left, double pulse. Holding that frame of the arms and reaching the legs longer as we sit taller. One more each side. Coming back to center, arms wrap to the front, point the toes, and exhale to tuck and curl. Rolling back, all the way back to the mat. We'll reset our spine into neutral. I'm gonna slide down a little. We'll bring our knees to table 
tabletop position. Hands come to the outside of the knees. We'll fold along the midribs to lift head, neck, and chest. And we're gonna draw that right knee towards our chest, towards the face as the left leg stretches forward. And smooth to change. One more right, last one left, we'll come to tabletop, hands will interlace behind the head to support the head and neck, and we're going to rotate the chest to our tabletop leg, so rotating left as the right leg glides forward, and we switch in for crisscross. One more each side. Coming back to center. Draw knees to chest. Stretch back to the mat. Legs return to tabletop. Hands on the knees. We fold once again at the midribs to lift the chest. Arms and legs open forward and back. Circling the arms back to tabletop. Keep the chest lifted as the arms glide overhead. Try not to lower the head and the shoulders. Last one. And stretch back, relax back, feet on the mat. Right leg over the top of the left, we'll work our figure four stretch. Bringing that left knee to tabletop, draw the legs closer to you as you pin that right leg with your elbow to move the knee away from the chest and the shoulder. Keep pulling in, it's that bicep curl of the left leg to move the leg and the hip to add that extra stretch. And you can twist the whole left leg to add more stretch as you pull that left foot towards that right knee, get a bigger stretch to the back of the hip, and to center. And we'll switch sides. Drawing that knee in, Pressing that left elbow against the knee, against the thigh to move that left side, that left knee away from the chest and the shoulder as you draw the right knee closer to increase that stretch. And then right leg twist. This is not about the lower leg twisting in the knee. You want to feel the whole thigh twist in your hands. And as you pull that right foot across and over to the left side, almost like it's going to touch the outside of your knee, you increase that stretch. If the right hip was tighter, feel free to switch back to the other side.
unwind the legs, bring the knees to tabletop, excuse me, bring the feet back down to the mat, we'll skip tabletop. We're gonna go back into some of our shoulder bridges. So we'll warm up with a couple strict shoulder bridges, no articulation of the spine. We're gonna engage the glutes, draw the abs in, lift the hips up, push the knees forward over the toes. And slow to reset, back to the mat. Hips lightly touch the mat and lift. On our next one, we're gonna lift and hold. And you could do this at a lower hip position. If this max height does not work well for you just yet, you can drop halfway. And then lift the right leg to tabletop. Extend that right leg long for the ceiling. And for three reps, we lower and lift. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. One more. Bending that knee, placing the foot back, and we lower the hips all the way. Reset the feet, reset your position. And we're gonna do another set of three double leg hip lifts. So feet stay firmly planted on the mat. We exhale to lift the hips up and slow to lower. Gently tap the mat with the hips and back to the top. One more, we lift and slow to lower. Our next one's our hold position. Reaching the hips up as we draw the abdominals in. Left leg comes to tabletop. We extend that leg and we inhale to lower, exhale to lift. One more. Bending that knee, placing the foot flat to the mat, and slow and control to lower. Bringing our knees to tabletop position, we extend the legs straight up towards the ceiling, and we're gonna work our pendulum, similar to spine twist. We're gonna inhale, legs together, tip over to the right, and exhale back. Inhale to twist and tip left, and back to center. Draw the ribs down, anchor the bottom half of the shoulder blades. One more each side. Draw soles of the feet together, draw the legs close, draw the heels to hips for that deeper butterfly stretch. And back to tabletop. We're gonna work our corkscrew, but we're gonna go modified with a bent knee. So we're gonna take our legs, our hip as one unit over to the right. And we'll send our legs slightly forward, keeping a bit of a bend in the knee. Sweep across, over to the left. Pull knees back in towards tabletop and straight across to center. And we, wrote, we go to the opposite direction. Inhale to the left, half extension forward. We sweep through to center, over to that right side, draw knees in to tabletop, and across to that center. Moving in the opposite direction each time.
One more each direction. And legs extend long out on the mat. And we'll finish today's session with three roll-ups. And we'll fold all the way forward and stretch over the thighs. Arms reach up. We inhale to draw chin to chest, fold along the midribs to lift, and then exhale to draw the abdominals in. Curl and peel up off the spine, round and stretch forward over the thighs. Hold for a breath or two for that stretch. Hands release up off the legs, reset the shoulders long through the neck, and articulate back. Curling and rolling back. Inhale, chin to chest as we fold along the mid ribs and exhale to curl. If you have a hard time with these roll ups, adding um, any weight out in front of you, like if you have a lightweight dumbbell or kettlebell or if you have an active motion bar, holding that weight out in front will help to curl and lift you up without kicking the hips, kicking the legs up off of the mat. So it's a nice little modification. And last one, chin to chest. Curl and peel. Reach out nice and long over the legs. One more nice deep breath. And on our next exhale, we're re-stack, sitting up nice and tall, stretching long up for the ceiling, and arms reset down by your side. All right, guys, great work today.